Hi everybody, I just wanted to talk to you about a little launch box video and putting Microsoft Xbox 360 Marketplace content. Now I don't know if you're familiar with what this is, it's only something I've just learnt myself over this last couple of days. Uh, it was the free uh, Xbox uh, network library which you could download for uh, all games off their marketplace, such as some of these as you can see here, Banjo-Kazooie's. Uh, uh, Battlestar, some Connect Boxing, Castlevania, Symphony of the Night, uh, and the Harmony of Despair HD, uh, Daytona USA, uh, Days of Thunder. Those are quite a few others, the Dooms, uh, and one especially I'm really happy with, uh, which is the Sensible World of Soccer, uh, which I love that I'm a game on the Amiga uh, in, the, in the mid 90s. So it's a real treat to be able to play it on the Xbox 360 with Launchbox. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, right, first thing you need to do is you need to download uh, some of your uh, Xbox Live stuff, which I'll show you where that is in mine. Mine's on an external hard drive. It's completely only at Launchbox. So what I've done is create a separate folder in the games called Microsoft Xbox Live Games. Uh, and there they all are there. Some I've still got to put in yet. And that's them all there. There are more to collect out there. Uh, a good place before anyone says it or mentions it. Uh, always always seem to be the archive is the best place to go for uh, some stuff. What you're gonna also going to need to do is update your Xenia. So in the emulators I'll go. And what you're going to need to do is just download the latest version of Xenia, which is December 29th, 2022, as of this video being made. Uh, and what you need to do, boom, 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 Xbox 360, is paste, once you've downloaded it from Zenu website, paste it into the, extract the folder, paste it into the, and overwrite everything, and that will be what you're doing. Is that, that, with the configurator file there and there. So what you need to do on this to make this Xbox Live stuff work, because what will happen is, if you don't do this, it will come up as a trial. So you need to get your configurator and the Xenia Canary Configurator tool. Uh, and what you need to do is open it with Notepad. Now it's important you do this because you, you are going to get that uh, trial unless you change all of this here. All of this content. Now you need, it will be there as the zero default which means no license enabled as it is there. What you need to do is put one. Change that from a zero to a one. Then press Control S or save up there, it's your choice. Uh, and do that for both f files on the configurator file, that one and the Canary configurator file. You must do that. Uh, without that, you'll just it'll just say trial. You'll get one attempt in a trial. But once you've done that, it unlocks the whole thing. So back to, you've done the emulator bit now. So the next thing you need to do is open your launch box. And I'll show you a game being installed and how it's done. It works pretty much the same way as the PlayStation 3. Uh, when you install the ISOs there, which you have to rename. Because they come as default bin with the PlayStation 3. So what we'll do is, further ado, click on the top left corner, Tools, uh, Import, ROM Files. This is the way I found it works. Add file, uh, you have to do it one at a time. Uh, that's in the games folder, Jet Set Radio. Uh, come back out of there. All I do is right click once, rename, copy, move across, go into it, bum, 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 keep going, keep opening until you come to this folder here. Uh, with all these numbers and everything in, call file. Click on open, click next, platform, Xbox 360. Now I did the separate emulator uh, for, for the Xenia, say Microsoft Xbox Live games, thinking it would make uh, a separate library over here, but it didn't. It mixed it all in still. So it makes no never mind. So Xbox 360 is the stuff you're getting it for. Uh, that's the default one for 360, but it's the same one, but I moved and called it that, but it didn't work, but that's what I've just done. So don't worry about just using Xenia as your normal emulator. Leave them where they are, click, all the metadata, a must, uh, next, this is where it matters, all them numbers there, 
double, double click, one click there on the left, double click, right click, paste, jet set radio, click finish, and it will go in there somewhere, launch box, there you go, arcade, and all these games are free, uh, I'll show you one loading up, even golden eye in there that was never released but made, uh, uh, I'll always like Daytona me, uh, Daytona. There we go, load it up. It doesn't do full screen, you have to do F11 for full screen. Because um, if you don't do that with the configurator file, it'll come up here, trial only. And that's it. What you do with the one is you're unlocking it saying it's been purchased. But you must do it on both folder files. Now look at that. Perfect. 60 Hz resolution. Arcade perfect. There you go. Just show your game working so you know it works. It's the back button to accelerate brake. The analog for the steering. And for the default views, it's the D-pad. And I prefer the inside view. I've set my options there. I won't bore you too much playing the game. I think this game will outlive us all. It's so amazingly up there. Almost the perfect lap thing. And just a quick hit escape key, close it down. And that's it. That's pretty much it. That's all your Xbox Marketplace Live stuff. Like I say, I can't tell you where to get the, get the games, etc. But you always go on Google. Just just try and look for archives of games. Uh, and that's where you'll find the good stuff so from there we'll leave it from there for another video hope this helps you leave a comment ask anything you like i will respond i promise i'm just a gamer like you who just wants to get things sorted in the best conf best launch box possible uh don't forget to like and subscribe and if you have any suggestions on other videos you'd like to see please do uh, comment and say something for now take care